All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, use your calculator to approximate something like this. So the limit as x approaches 2 of, let's say, uh, square root. So square root of, I don't know, x plus 2 minus 2 over x minus 2. Um, and this is a cast, so if I press enter, it's actually just going to find that limit for me, um, which gives me 1 fourth. But what I want to do is I want to approximate it. So what I'll do, and I'm going to use a uh, spreadsheet. So I'm going to enter a spreadsheet, and let me go back here. So I'm going to define the function. So f of x, and then set equal to, just call it equals. And so that'll be the square root of x plus 2 minus 2 over x minus 2. OK, so that's f of x. And now I can use, I can find f of one if I wanted to put a decimal to get a decimal back, um, things like that. So let me go over here. So control and then to the right, we'll take you to the next page. So I'm interested in being uh, really close to two. So I'm gonna press equals and type SEQ for sequence. And then I'm gonna do two plus 0.01t. So uh, I'm starting at two and I'm adding 0.01. And then t is the variable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from negative 5 to 5 on t. And you'll see what happens is it, um, it goes from 1.95 up to 2. So uh, it's going to go from negative. So that's when t is negative 5, 4, or 3, 2, 1, when t is 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it stops. And now the next thing I'm going to do is in this, the formula bar here, I'm going to type equals, and then f. So that's the function of, I want to do everything that's in column A. So that's A. And then I'm going to press Control and open parentheses. And I get that. And you can see that it's getting pretty close to 1, 4. Right? As x gets closer and closer to 2, but is less than 2, I'm getting closer to 1, 4. And closer and closer to 2, but slightly bigger than 2, it's close to 1, 4. So from there, you would probably guess it. What I can do though is I can kind of edit this and get a little bit closer. So I just added some zeros there. So it's going to overwrite everything. Press enter. Uh, now you, you pretty much have no choice but to guess that this is going to be one fourth. Um, and that's how I would use a spreadsheet to estimate a limit. Um, and you know now it's just a question of how accurate your calculator can be. Um, so if I make it to the negative seventh, I mean I don't. I don't know that it's ever going to necessarily zoom right in. Well, there you go. So now it's so close that the calculator is actually rounding it to one fourth. But that's how I would use my calculator and a spreadsheet to approximate a limit, which is uh, something you have to do a lot. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. So good luck.